Welcome to the new Tony's home, a new kitchen, a new set to shoot videos of this channel. To ask if we are planning on entertaining you with new Italian recipes is like asking my little sister Julia if she likes to play. Rest assured, this kitchen will be put to good use, cooking delicious Italian food with a smile. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> this brand new kitchen has been designed by my father, putting together all of mom's requirements and lessons that we have learned from previous houses we lived in. Follow along with me and I will give you a tour of its highlights. For the first time, mom has a kitchen peninsula. Mom really loves the idea of not having to face a wall while cooking and at the same time, keeping intruders at a distance while she's busy. A big change from all past kitchens is that we moved from a gas stove to an induction hob. The heat produced by the gas stove was really unbearable at times for mom. You can imagine how much mom sweat while cooking three meals a day, while outside it's more than 30 degrees Celsius. And to totally kill the heat issue, dad had an aircon installed. With the gas stove gone, now all we have is a slick dark surface with lots of cool lights. Though the induction hub is not as intuitive as using a burner, in fact, mom is still trying to figure out how to operate it. Here we have a super silent hood to let mom's ears heal from the noisy hoods of the past. It's so silent that sometimes she forgets it's on through the night. If you watched some of our old videos, you may have seen what ridiculous ovens mom had used. The problem is that the ovens designed for domestic use would not survive more than a few years without falling apart under the abuse of mom's heavy baking. So this time, dad said, no more domestic ovens, we go for a commercial one. And so, this beast entered our house. The sheer size of this oven made built-in installation impossible, so Dad designed a sturdy support cabinet at the bottom and an ad hoc exhaust fan at the top, which sucks out the oven fumes, preventing the smell of freshly baked bread from filling the house, which would be the call of wild for my hungry siblings. After moving into the new house, we soon found out that we were not the only ones who moved in. It looks like these little busy ants decided to follow us to keep eating mom's food. I guess dad had not planned this. Like he did not plan for having one of Julia's toys on top of a tall cabinet. Nobody knows how it ended up there. And this is probably my favorite feature, our first ever dishwasher. Mom did dishwashing for nine people for almost 20 years, and since a few years, this chores has been done by my siblings and me. So you can imagine how happy we all are delegating this house chore to such a nice appliance. Here is a cabinet dedicated to all types of plastic containers, which we use to store leftovers, sauces, and to carry our lunches to school. And these are the drawers where mom keeps all of her tools. Oops. The Chinese knife survived the relocation. I guess mom will still use it to threaten her viewers to subscribe. Some sections of the cabinet are used to store the video and light equipment when we are not shooting our videos. Very convenient. Well, not for mom. But my husband is very tall. Then is him that storage.
our old fridge is still with us and followed us in a move. Dad has planned enough space around it because he knows that one day, Mom will ask him to buy a much bigger fridge that comes with a huge freezer compartment. Mom and all my family love this new kitchen. I hope you are all as excited as we are. If there is anything in particular that you liked, or if you have anything that you would have done differently, let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, give us a like. If you want to learn Italian recipes with mom, subscribe and smash the bell button to receive all our updates. See you in the next episodes of Tony's Home, where every day is a sunny day.